Welcome in, everybody, to Goblets and Warlots, Order of the Goblet, episode 16. We do have a couple people out tonight. Well, and one I know for sure is out. The other one did not respond to any of my messages, so I hope they're okay and nothing's bad. So, uh, But we decided to press on since this is the last episode for I Go On Break. So, um, yeah... That being said, uh, we did not record Order to Gob or Black the Black Order because we had two people out, and um, so we'll record it this week. So if you're not uh, went and liked the felt sneak, please go and like it, and uh, you know subscribe to the channel on over on YouTube. Let's see, exclamation point YouTube. <coughs> Excuse me. I get you the link to um, the channel. Thank you, Silver. If you can just plug these in while I talk about them. Uh, so make sure you go over like the felt sneak. So all the light stuff uh, will go uh, towards their reward. So right now I think they have six lights on that channel. So they'll get a D6. Um, speaking of, if you're watching on YouTube, please like, subscribe, leave a comment down below what your favorite part is. Um, that's the This Friday will be the last one for... Um, Actually, we might have one on the 22nd. I don't remember if they're called out, but Friday will be Dragonlance, the continuation of that. No, 22nd. Nope, nope, yep. This Friday would be the last one for Dragonlance because uh, the 21st are starting my pack out. So, yeah, so this Friday would be the last one for Dragonlance until we go on to break, too, as well. Um, with that being said, I'll turn it over to Silver Wolf when you live again. Uh, I'll be alive again on Friday at 5.30 actually now, um, Mountain Time, and we'll probably be playing some more Warzone like normal, so hope to see you guys there. Alrighty. Well, that being said, grab your goblet, sit back, and relax, and enjoy the show. And welcome back. I did not realize the intro was done. So, uh, John, you rolled the lowest tonight, so lead us into recap. I did. I did. Okay. Okay. To get back into the recap of last episode, last one was a crazy one. Um, so we pick. We pick. We picked up last episode with, uh, with this with this weird dagger that that Fane had found. I I hadn't seen this before. It seemed pretty cool. I would have taken it if she didn't. Um, but she did, and it's, and she had this really weird reaction to it, and it went into her arm. Uh, I left like a tattoo. That was that was also kind of cool, uh, but also very painful. Um, so she screamed. Providence then came down as a as a normal reaction to 
what <laughs> Dufane screaming, accused me of hurting her, which wouldn't be the first time for these two. Uh, but uh, after, <laughs> but that's 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 water under the bridge. Uh, uh, she was worried about her. We then went up. Uh, they put a tourniquet on her arm because they were worried about what the heck was happening with that. Um, I believe Kalis tried to heal her of some sorts. Um, afterwards, we were we were afterwards we were a bit done with the inn. Uh, uh, we fed the horses uh, with the with the feed we found around back, and and got and uh, got on our merry way. Uh, on on the road, Arwen Arwenis Glitch and I had recounted a couple of uh, a couple of the crazy things that had happened. A uh, bit of bit of a, a recap within the recap, if I must say. Uh, and we, and that was pretty. Uh, there, there's more, but that was it on the cart. It then started raining. Oh wait, no, sorry. Uh, Fane, Fane, summoned this, this creature. I don't, I, I don't know what it was, but it had this, it had this cool like horn on his head. I, it looked like a sword. I don't know what it is, but it was pretty cool. Um. Anyway, it started raining. We figured we should take camp for the night. Uh, and after. Uh, what was it? Fane and Providence took first watch. I don't know what happened there. They probably had some really cool moment where they talked to each other about the about the sword and being worried about each other. Oh right, Fane's smarter. That's important. Um, I don't know how that happened, but she's smarter now. <laughs> anyway, then then it was my turn for watch. Mine and their witnesses. We had another small recap of uh, the crazy things that happened in a in a and. A theorizing session on what the heck that dagger was and also there's a lot of bodies over there they're just kind of over there we don't know what they were or why they were there but they were there for sure um then as our then as our watch came to an end we uh english woke up we told him about the dagger uh, informed him as he is a uh, more in he's more knowledgeable about magic items than i uh, or arwinus uh and that was the camp. After the camp, I woke up again, and Fane got sucked into uh, somewhere. I don't know where, but she was, she sure is somewhere. Uh, everyone was freaking out. Providence was uh, was praying to her god. Uh, Kalis as well, I think. Um, but what are we gonna do now? That's what we'll fi find out on this episode of Cowboys and Warlocks. That's it. <laughs> All right. Um, <clears throat> I don't know why I gave Weasel powers in the chat. She's just shouting like everybody out for some reason, just <laughs> repeatedly. Um, as y'all seen in the this uh, the YouTube upload that I had retconned a few things because I misunderstood what the card did that uh, Fane had pulled. So we're going to pick up where Providence uh, dropped down to her knees and started her prayer. So we'll start there, and then I'll handle our missing people after that. Yeah, um, I don't remember exactly how I started this last time, but um, Providence would basically like take her sword out. She probably planted it on the ground and dropped to her knees and just start a frantic prayer to to Slofrena asking like what what's going on i uh fain fain is gone i i don't know where she went uh where where is she P please please you have you have to help me fain is not herself. She has changed. Yeah, it was, uh, she, I think she found the dagger. Um, I think it was your but I, I don't know where she went. She just, she just vanished. You have to help me get her back. I, fine, she can change. You can change her back. I just, 
Please. I, I, I need her back. She can't be gone. She is somewhere cold. That's... Can I get her back? Can you bring her back? There is... something bigger at play. What do you mean? You're, <clears throat> you're a god. You can fix this. I have dedicated my life to you. You have to fix this. She had made a pact with somebody else. I cannot interfere with that. But it's not for she was she was loyal to you. She was she was one of your servants. She was she dedicated her life to you as well. You have to help. Please help. Please bring her back. Or tell me how I, I can what what do I have to do? Who do who do I have to find? Who I'll I'll do whatever. You have somebody within your group that can maybe help. But I've already tried to bring her back for you. But the pact she had made was somebody else. Somebody stronger than you? I wouldn't say stronger, but... It can't be in If she's not that stronger that than you, why can't you just bring her back? Again, darling. She had made her deals, and I cannot interfere with those deals. But can she bring her back? Can I bring her back? Can we? Can is it possible? We just have to find her. Well, where is she? She's on the world. She's just now within the cards. So if I break the cards, can I find her? Got to find the cards. Well, where are the cards? I don't know where the cards are. I just know that much. How, how do you know not... not? Uh, somebody that can speak to her and she can make kin tell you where she's at. I don't have all the answers. I'm sorry. Well, if you don't have the answers, what, what, what good are you? That's for you, though. I'm sorry you don't understand Providence. It's just... Is she fully worshipy in only me that I might could do something? But I can't. If that made sense. No. Thank you. Thank you. Mm. Province would probably get up and she would be very upset. And I think uh, you pro probably you guys have never actually seen her angry. You've seen her get like confident and 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 definitely violent, but you've never seen her angry. And I think she actually probably just like screams and throws her sword like across the field. Okay. And then probably petulantly walks off into a corner or something. Well, I mean, you're also, it was just right after uh, a long rest, so you're packing up camp. Keyless says he's going to do what you did is pray on it. And as Keyless sits there, almost kind of like a meditation style, falls back and hovers with starlights in his eyes like he has done before. Hassan said he, I think we started out, Hassan was going to scout ahead, so he is not there either. So, so Kalis is now hovering off the ground like you've seen before. I mean, you might want to put him in the cart or something. Province is doing nothing. She is not going to be participating in any camp-related activities. 
I'm gonna look at the other two like we do. <sighs> Don't know. Alright. Uh I'll walk o uh Ornus is gonna walk over to Providence and Providence? What? What did what did your god say? She is of no help. Bane is gone. Or somewhere, and maybe I could find her, but she's given me no advice on how to. I what am I supposed to do? Bane's gone. Okay, okay. She said she's alive, though, right? She didn't say she was alive. She said she's somewhere cold. Hey, did she give you anything else? She said she's in the cards. Wait, in the cards with? She says she's in the cards. Okay, hold on. You, you know where the cards are? Can we can we get no, them? No, can no, we no, just no, like hold on, hold on, hold on. get her out? Can we just like rip the cards up? And would she come out? I don't think so. I we try? I'm going to have to do the ritual, which... Oh no. The book was on pain. Do you know where she is? No, but I can talk no, to Verana. No, Arwenus, yes. you need to tell me. Do you know where she is? No, but I can talk to Verana. The one who linked me in pain. Let me see what I can do. Hold on. Just let me see if I can talk to her. You're gonna see Arwen okay. is take a step back, close her eyes and go. And in her head, Verana? Okay. Bane? Hey. Where where did everyone go? What are you, uh, Fane? You got sucked into the cards. That that would that would make sense, except the cards weren't somewhere with snow. You're in somewhere with snow. Okay. Um, do you hear Verona? Because I can't hear contact her either. I can only um, contact you now. No, the only the only people here with me are Jenny and my and my clap on Rhino. Okay, so you're alive and safe. Mm. Do you know where anything else um, besides cold? Well, see, that's the funny thing. It looks cold, but I feel really hot. And normally I like being hot because orcs just like hot. That's why we mate in the summer. But but it's like really like my hand is on fire. But when I touch my face, it doesn't burn. Well, you're back to your normal self, it looks like. Um... So, Providence is freaking out. because my hand is on fire. Uh, okay. Somewhat. Providence is freaking out. You gotta tell me something so I can help her so she can calm down. Um. I, I don't know what else. Okay. It's just snowy outside. Snowy outside, so you're probably somewhere north, I'm guessing. Alright. There's a lot of snow north, yeah. Okay. Uh, let me talk to her and see what I can do. I'll contact you again since Verona's nowhere in sight. Okay. All can right. you can you tell her that my clap on Rhino now has a fiery horn and that he needs a name? Yeah, I can do that. You see, Arwenus shake her head. <sighs> Well, that was not as helpful as I was hoping as it to be. She's alive. Okay. She is safe. She has no idea where she's at. All she said it was snowy and that's it. And Verana's gone, who connects us. So now only I can talk to her. But she is alive. She is safe for now. So she went she's home. She's in the north. I'm guessing so. All she said was snow. She has no so idea. We're going she to had. the north. Province, we can't get there yet. We have to. I'm going to the north. I'm just going to walk by pushing Kalos's floating body into the cart. We'll get to the north eventually. We need a boat first. 
We have no money right now. There's no way to get there at this moment. The Thanks. order I... will provide if you join the order. Oh, she also said something about her rhino. I think that's what she called it. The big mount thing has a flaming nose sword on the face now and needs a name and told you to pick. Hmm? Just think about it. Okay. I'm I'm sorry, Province. I I don't know. The only person that ever cared about me is gone. We'll get her back. Like we promised Kayla's to get Manny back. We'll get them back. But we have to make sure we are able to save more than just them. We're not I don't care about anybody else. I know. I know. I know I'm not worth it to you. <clears throat> I'm sorry we've been calling you old. It... That's not what but... I meant. Do you have family? But... Yeah. Do you have somebody that's you just you, that is the most important person to you? To you? Do you have anybody like that? A parent, a sibling. A parent, but I haven't seen them in two years. What if, what if they were just standing right beside you and then just take it and nobody knows where they are and then all you hear is they're alive and we have to wait? I would be in the same boat as you. Mad, angry, wanting to go save them, but if there's... We don't know her location. We don't have the money to get to her. Providence, I know how much she means to you. I understand that. But I don't know how we're going to get to her without help. We'll find odd jobs. We'll just charter. We did it before. Fane and I used to, we, we used to go all over the place. We just would find odd jobs. I'll just, I'll just do that. I'll just go north and then I'll find her. And if she's not in the north, well, I guess I'll go south. Arnas, you feel... Mm -hmm. You feel like if you hold Providence's hand, mm -hmm. something might happen. Alvarez is going to hesitantly reach for your hand to see if you will let her. She just stares at you it. for a bit. She, she, she won't hold her hand out in return, but she won't stop but you from touching her. Uh, she'll grab your hand and I know this is hard Providence I know this is hard I need but my friend back I know you need your friend back we're gonna get her back. We at least know she's safe, unlike me. She's gonna be terrified. She can't be alone. She doesn't sound terrified, honestly. She sounds she like will be. She will be. She's very strong. She'll she'll hide mm -hmm. it. She's gonna be very terrified. Well, if she's really strong, she won't be as terrified. But I, I need to be there to protect her. I need her. I know you need her. But maybe... Hmm. This time away will make you guys stronger independently. That makes no sense. True. True. It's... Hi. Hi. Thane. Um. Where are you? Uh, it's snowing outside. I don't know. Are you home? I don't think so. So you're in the south. I. It's. I. All I see is snow. Are you okay? Yeah, yeah, I'm really hot. But like fire hot. Which is which is fun. You know how I always get more excitable in the summer? It's like that, but more. Okay. 
there anybody there with you? Jenny and the rhinoceros. Wait, I'm scared. Um, on the plus side, I kind of think I might be the new Verana, and that makes me even more immune to death. You know, that wasn't any, that didn't make any sense. Not one bit, Fane, not one bit. What part? You were never immune to death. I'm pretty sure I was, and now am even more so. Fane, no. Mm -hmm. I need to find you. Where are you? Um, I think I'm in the cards. So as long as the cards don't break, I'm fine. Are you sure? Because we can break the cards, you can fall out. What? Well, no, because Miss Verana said something about how the only way to get her out was through a really weird thing. Ritual. Yeah, that's the Is word. That the word. What yeah. do you need for the ritual? Uh, there were candles and something from a really strong fire thingy and like a dragon's pinky bone or something. I don't know. It And um, there were other things. We, we... We talked about it, but you had the book on you. Yeah. Can Which you read the book? We need. Can I read the book? The book is not there. Um, The book's not here. Oh no. Um, but also we uh we definitely are fine. I'm fine. You need to you need to take care of the new tribe though. <laughs> Do you want me to find you? Um, yeah, at some point that'd be nice, but I, maybe after you find the stuff so that when you get here, we can be like, yay, I'm not in the cards anymore. It does have a point, surprisingly. I Just have, have lots of points. I even have, oh wait, I don't have my tusks. Do I have my tusks back now? I don't have, never mind, I don't have as many points as that. If I, ooh, hmm. I'm going to sharpen my nails so I have more points. It's pure fire. What are you talking about? <laughs> I. What else am I going to do with my time? I will find a way. I mean, I don't know how to protect you when you're in the cards. That's okay, because now I'm made of fire, so if anyone gets too close, I'll just put my hand on their face. What if you get wet? Um, is it's He's in the cold cards. outside. Yeah, but it's you... snowing. The cards can't break like that, I believe. From also, um, <clears throat> I think, I think that... I have a weird connection to Silver or to Arwenus now. Yeah. Maybe, oh, maybe I can practice doing weird stuff with her magic. Oh no. Providence, you gotta think of this way. I can keep an eye on her, and if she's in changes, she'll let me know too. If that's the case, we'll head straight to her. We don't know where she is. We'll figure it out. I'll try to figure it out while you guys have fun being the new tribe. I'll put big big brain fan mode on. Do you think you can do that, Providence? For now? No. Remember it. Was... Okay. This is a little awkward for me uh, if I was holding hands, but you can talk to her this way too, it sounds like. Since I have this connection with her now. Okay. Okay. It's not, not okay. ideal. I know it's not ideal. It's not the best, but 
it's better than nothing. Hey, hey, Prue. Yeah. I bet I can get stronger than you by the time you get here. You cannot. Yeah, I can. No, you can't. Prove me wrong. I mean, look at me. I'm, I'm, you can't be stronger than me. Well, like, not like arm wrestle stronger, but I, I, I bet I can be stronger than you by the time you get here. What way? In what way could you be stronger than me? In, in big brain ways. Uh, I've always been the smarter one. That's not what you said yesterday. Oh yeah, no, you were the smarter one. John and Glitch, you can just see Owen is just kind of look away like, <laughs> help. This horse has got a sore foot. <laughs> we got to hey, deal with that. Hey, Fane, can you feel this? And Providence is going to push Arwenus. Yeah. As you as you turn back, you see like John pushing Kalis through the door of the cart. Just like, <laughs> oh, gotta move his uh, head to the left. <laughs> um, I think I felt it a little push harder this time. No, 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 no! You push me harder. You, well, I'm gonna let go of your hand, and you won't be able to talk to Payne again. Actually, if you if you shove, that's a good question, Ryan. If you shove Arnis, give me contested athletics checks between both of you. Oh, you know I'm gonna win. <laughs> After all, one. Yeah, fair. Ooh, that's low. Twelve. Fourteen. <laughs> you shove and Arnis, you have to. I give you the choice if you want to let go of the hand or not. I don't think that's a good idea because I have a funny feeling she's going to grab me hard again. So I will still hold her hand, but kind of bounce back. Stop. We're just checking. I can't. I can't actually feel it at all. You just wanted me to get shoved in, too. Kinda, maybe. <sighs> oh, this is gonna be heck. Okay. Um. We good hey, now? Oh. I would no. like my hand back. No, fudge. Fine. Fine. I miss you. Mm-hmm. I love you. Like, family. Yeah, yeah. I love you too. This is going to be good. When we get back together, we're going to have the strongest, coolest uh, tribe ever. Just okay. just make sure you become a real orc by the time you get there. Otherwise, I'm going to be stronger than you. Not a chance. But, so you want me to, you want me to make these, these people our tribe? Yeah. I like them. Okay, then I like them too. Okay, I know you can't feel this, but Providence is gonna pick Arwenus up and just squeeze hug. <laughs> Miss Arwenus, okay, okay, you got okay, you gotta okay, do okay, the, okay, the, okay. the the little the little elbow let's hug back. Okay, I'm do, do, I, I can't do the hug back. She... No, no, like like just the I can't say the T Rex hug because uh, Fane wouldn't know what that is. But <laughs> <laughs> okay, um. Okay, fair, anyways, fair. I gotta go start getting stronger so that I don't lose to proof. Okay. Um, let me... The... Later. Bye. Kudos. She'll drop you. Ow! Gosh darn it, warning before you do that! If you're gonna be my tribe, you have to get stronger. She's Otherwise gonna you won't last the hugs. Up. Okay, first off, I wasn't prepared for the hugs. It was out of no nowhere. Secondly, don't just drop someone on their butt. God. Oh, sorry. Fane usually tucks and rolls. I'm not Fane, though. You're the closest I have now. Okay. Um... I, uh, glitch, John. Yes. Um, what? Help! Don't just stand there. What's up? What's going on? Other than you two hugging, and holding hands. That's new. Don't, don't get, don't. 
it was the only way she could communicate with Fane, okay? Just oh. don't start with me. You can talk to Fane. Yeah. Fane. I can. You just gonna see Where her just kind of her shoulders just come. <laughs> Honestly, I don't know. Somewhere in snow in the cards, and it just just it's just a lot now. We're gonna find her. Yes, we will. We're gonna go to the north. After we get some money. Immediately when we have some money. In the cards, but it's snowing in the cards? Uh, no, like the cards are in snow, I think. From what she said. And she's but made the... a flame right now. I don't, I, I don't understand it right now. All I know is she's gone with the cards. She doesn't have the book, which we need the book to get her out with the spell. It just... <sighs> This doesn't I sound guess. like she's cold in there. That's good. No, she, I guess, she, yeah, she's not cold. But I I, I, I think I'm going to uh, look at Providence slightly. <laughs> like, I, I, I might need some help. Someone's going to be attached to me for a while. What would you want help with? I'm not used to this heavy dovey all of a sudden for her. I'm used to the <laughs> name calling. This is odd, okay? Not, it just, no. You want us to call you names? No, I'm used to it from them. Not from oh. you two, from them. Okay? Don't start. I will pull the age card this time, and I will be proud of it. Don't start Wait. with me. Can we get going now? Before I get crushed again in another hug. Sounds like a play. Thank you. Uh, Pru will go and collect her sword that she threw across the field. Or wherever they were. Okay, we got everything. We good. We ready. Let's go. I'll say probably around uh, the part where Arnus was doing this. So mm. you probably observed for a minute or two from a distance on the road. Uh, hey, but before you guys go, could I? You wouldn't happen to be going to East Haven, would you? Uh, yeah. As you guys turn around, you see this. I don't know. Describe your new character. Um. Just the. Human, uh, but she's got like blue curly hair. I was gonna get a wig, but the only one I could find was like a clown fro. Uh, that wasn't quite the look. Um, <laughs> but yeah, just blue hair, fair skin, um, blue eyes, uh, blue armor because blue is good. On on the the chest of her armor, she has a little uh, badge from. Uh, you guys may or may not know it. It's if you imagine like eight sided lines but on the bottom one is missing and the seven that are there are all the letter p um and uh that and she's just like kind of waving you down hoping you don't leave before she can try to ha ask for a ride uh and she is very much barefoot i i peek out of the cart I like the blue. Get in. Excellent. John! I like it. Thank you very much. You <laughs> you must know Foltia. Your hospitality is amazing. And I will hop oh, in the back. I don't know what you're talking about, but I, we'll figure that out later. Uh, the, the, he's, he's the god with the dad bod. Instead of, instead of the, like, 20-pack of abs. Still know what you're talking about. Uh... Okay. Well, we, we, we you can explain it on the road. We gotta we gotta get moving. This is a good omen, guys. I have a good feeling about this. It's a very good omen. Oh, I'm gonna, yeah, I'll blue. climb in the back. Uh, That's where I was invited to go. John, don't just invite my tips straight. Okay. Um, oh, oh, I'm so sorry. No, no, that's that's. You want me to kick her off? There. Um, my name is Nico. Nice to meet you. I'm heading to East Haven. She does have a bow and a couple like short swords and a uh, javelin, but that's 
This is Nico. Hey. They're 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 gonna come with us to East Haven. I like you. Just 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 open okay. Um, you know what? I'm not gonna argue out. Let's just get it. They're the... covered in okay. It just Well I um, like blue. blue. What can you friends? <laughs> I appreciate the ride and your hospitality is much appreciated. <clears throat> Look at them. They're so trusting. That's what worries me. Also, <laughs> do any of you have names? You also do see mm. a floating body in the cart, if you got in the cart already. Mm. Yeah, that's new. Uh, I'm assuming the floating body also has a name, but, you know. That that he does. Mm. I'm I'm John. Pleasure. Nice and I'll, I'll reach out to shake your yeah. wing hand. What do I? That's a new one for me. Yeah. <laughs> and I'll just reach forward to whoever's next. We'll say, gl we'll say glitch. I don't know. You can just go hey. over the call. <laughs> <laughs> nice to meet you. Whoa. Well, they call me glitch. Pleasure. Uh, and I'll just, yeah, I'll just keep going along. Tall, blonde lady. Uh, she does not reach out for your hand. She says, my name is Providence, and she climbs to the top of the carriage. She's going through something right now. Okay, well, nice to meet you, Providence. Uh, and then I'll just keep going. And then oh, you... Gonna look really, like, uh, Arwenus. Oh. Nice to meet you. It is a pleasure to meet you too. I'm gonna go to the front of the car and get the horses ready. And you're just gonna see her just dash real quickly towards the front. I'll just smile after her. Hmm. Cool group. Uh, and who's who are you in the armor there? Hi, I'm Nico. And she'll turn to Mr. The Honorable. <laughs> oh, yeah, that guy. <laughs> <clears throat> Sir Frederick, The Honorable. Mm. Sir, that's, that's fancy. Do you, like, take oaths and stuff? Um, what you say, uh, knight? Right. Cool. I work for Mr. Trinity. Don't know them, uh, but uh, they sound pretty cool. So all of a sudden you're sharing all this. Frederick, you were very quiet about that when I originally. I told you all the first night who I served. Hesitantly. Well, you know what? Here's okay. the thing. There's like one, two, three, four, five, six. There's like eight of you. Seven of you. Seven of you. And and one of me. So really, what do you have to be worried about? And and she'll she'll wink at you. She does have a point. Alright. John, keep an eye on Kalis. We'll pick Isam up as from the front. Would it here tell you tell you what? I'll even come up there with you so you don't have to worry about me messing with them. No, and I'll go by the back. Okay. The I'll back. go sit next to Arminus. <clears throat> okay, I guess we're ready. <laughs> Burning through her so. teeth. <laughs> Everyone in? Yep, we're good All back good. here. Providence, you good up there? Fine. Okay. Uh, let's grab Isam and let's go. It's on scouted ahead, so. Yeah, yeah, like I meant, like down the road, gonna, we'll grab them and put them in the cart. We're gonna catch up. Yeah, that's what I meant. Hey, right, who's driving this motley crew? A uh, cart of. Okay, give me an animal handling check. <laughs> 
18. Very nice. You used to these, the horses kind of gotten used to in your, they follow your ever command and stuff. So <clears throat> as you start moving down the road, uh, you the only one driving or anybody up there with you? Uh, Nico's with me. Yeah. <clears throat> I'm just watching. All right. And Glitch and John, or am I watching the sits? I'm assuming Providence is watching the sits. All right. So Gene, Gene and Glitch are inside the cart with Kalis. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Since y'all haven't really had a chance to talk, you can go ahead. <laughs> Do you have any any thoughts on the dagger? Uh, that was in um, Fane's arm. Or no. I, I went to bed pretty soon after I asked you. I didn't really see it. Hmm. Not a clue. I'll have to think on that. And you pick up a dagger and it goes into her arm. But then she disappeared. There's a lot to figure out. Mm -hmm. For sure. The only, one, the only one can answer is not here. So we need to talk to other people about this. We need books, history. All that stuff. To find like a, a library or something in the or like another artificer. Is that, is that they what they call you? I'm un, I'm unfamiliar with many job titles, but that's Yeah, I guess so. What's a name for it? Somewhat. I guess kinda do that. Works for me. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah hope, hopefully we'll find something cool in the town that'll help us with this. Maybe. We'll have to find clerics, maybe. Wizards. Mm -hmm. They'll be the ones to talk to. I would like to give a D6. Oh, cursed items. That's what it seems like. Arnis, you get a D6. Oh. Gonna lean we back, see. put my feet up on Kalis. <laughs> <laughs> does he like kind of bob up and down when he does that? I don't. Sure, why there. not? All right. I'm thinking he's every, every time you hit a like bump a in the road, it just. <laughs> 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 Where you can play cards on them. <laughs> I don't think this is what happens when you skip out on a session last minute, guys. Don't do it. Yeah. <laughs> you, become, you become the the gambling table. Yeah. I get mad and I flip the table over. They just spin. Yeah. <laughs> what are you doing back there? You're We're driving with Kalis. Yeah, I hear a dunk though. Are you are you are you guys actually like playing for anything, or are you just doing like friendly no wager gambling? Do we have any? Do you have anything? I don't on know. You? I I, I don't, don't. I just checked. I don't uh, think well, so. We don't you have any like dragon glass gla glass chest set or anything. No, the only one who had that was Isam. Hmm. You find Isam's glass chest set inside the cart. Okay. Perfect. <laughs> like, is there a wager up, or, or are we? Been a minute uh, since I, I played, so I guess we can maybe have a practice round. Yeah, hey, well, our onus. Do you, Glitch, do you even have any money to huh? put down? I forgot. Do I have the bird? None. I see. <clears throat> All right, just playing for fun then until we get some no. money. Yeah, okay, I'm broke. At that point, Nico will completely lose interest in your game. Never mind then. <laughs> we'll gamble later. Don't worry about it. Y'all got coins and stuff from the looted body. I don't know that. Who has coins? It's John, and he didn't share it. They don't know that, and that's <laughs> yeah. John and Fane, and Fane was going to share, but then couldn't. 
question uh, above the table. Does Nico have money? Okay. Um, Nico, yeah. So if if that's what you're looking for, um, Nico has has a backpack, and and you didn't see any pouches or anything on the outside of it, like rope and stuff. But yeah, yeah, yeah. Just quick about mm -hmm. the old question. Yeah. Not actually gonna try and pickpocket you or anything, but yeah. God, that'd be rude. Uh, I, I, you, you would have heard me whisper to Arwenus like that. She, I was betting two gold on you winning the game, but Arwenus didn't take me up. So I nope. see. <laughs> two two whole gold guys, big big wages. Spo I suppose we played chess then, or dragon yeah, we'll chess. Just... Yeah, bring on Kaylas. Oh, you still have that wine. I I do have a bit more, and then I'll I'll grab out uh, another uh, bottle of spirits. Eight more. <laughs> do you want it? <laughs> a little bit. Well, we Are you guys and... talking loudly? Could could Providence on the roof of the carriage hear you talking about wine? Talking at a normal Maybe. volume, probably. Yeah. Just a normal volume. I mean, there's us, windows. Yeah. Yeah, so you probably up. hear this this heavy thumping as she like bangs the back of her sword on, on the top of the, the carriage and she's like, I want some. Please. Alright. Just put the hand up, hand it up. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. I'll go. Am I the only one? Okay. You're I'm driving. <laughs> yeah, sober. I'm, I'm just enjoying your company. Mm-hmm. Not getting drunk this time. We're just playing chess and visiting. Mm -hmm. Talking about people. Huh? So 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 Arwenus. Uh yes, Nico. You uh You're an elf. Yeah. I hear elves elves have a a a a god that the rest of us don't really get get to learn about. Mhm. Mm I'd love to hear about it. You want to hear about Sildir? Mhm. Mm I I'd, I'd love to hear what you have to say about about him. And she'll lean in just an inch closer. And she'll lean an inch away. <laughs> she, she feels that inch. Mm -hmm. Well, from my experience, I he is very tough on those who hurt bells. Mm -hmm. But it's fair as well, too. You please him, he's fair. If you displease him, yeah, there's a wrath you, you don't want to mess with. But that's just from my history lessons. Besides that, I haven't really heard much from him. Mm. Why? No, I'm just interested in, in, in hearing you talk. Okay. That's a new thing that I'm not used to. She's... Providence, you good back up there with the wine and help? Do you... Sorry, what? Do you want some wine? The, 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 the... No, no, I don't think that's a good idea. Hmm. How are you doing up there? That's what I'm asking. I miss Fang. I know. Can you tell her I say hi? Not while I'm driving. I'll, I'll let her know you said hi. But I, I, I can't uh, grab your hand and talk to her again. We. I have a funny feeling I'm gonna be grabbed a lot. I'm not sure if I like this or not. Did you say that out loud? <laughs> Whispered under her breath. Yes. Who? Uh, who's? Who's? Think. 
Am I if I'm not allowed? I know I'm new. Uh, I'm new. If I'm not allowed to know, I get it. That's a kind of a touchy subject right now. Give it a couple days, if you're still with us. Okay. Well, I I I don't know. This is a this is a good omen. Finding you guys on the road. Mm-hmm. The gods the gods sometimes speak in these ways. We'll see. But you have Nico's rapt attention. She is like. If, if you ever glance over, she is, like, making eye contact. She is... Yeah. She could have looked real quickly and go, oh, okay. Um, mm-hmm. uh, uh, nice weather we're having, huh? Gorgeous. <laughs> Arwen is just gonna just side eye and see what she's looking at. Nope, she's still looking at me. Oh. Why is it always me? Why is it always me? You're just gonna see her mentally going. <laughs> we hear this part. <laughs> no, you don't hear that, but you you just hear a well, heavy sigh. <laughs> to ask the questions or anything. Hopefully. I imagine you could hear the conversation. Okay. You just stick my head out. Maybe Nico knows what to do about magic stuff. Tuck my head back in. <laughs> you, what ma- What kind of magic? Uh, um, curses. Uh, cursed items, I think, more likely, and um, uh, weird magic items that we need to find again. Uh, Thanks, glitch. Could you be more specific in any way, please? Uh... Stick your head back out. So, I don't even know who got sucked back into some magic cards. You, there are cards that can suck people into them. Oh, so you don't know about that? I would love to know about that. That could be useful to someone that I know. Uh. What? What? What, uh, what do you know about these cards? Maybe no, no. Maybe maybe we can can combine resources. Maybe we can do something with this. Oh, we didn't know much about it because the person who had the cards is the one who disappeared. And I'll whisper this and like lean in and be like, is this that vain person? Oh, you just can see her nod. Okay. Um, so does it often suck its user into them or was that just a... Uh, was it a fluke? Was it just, you know, not enough practice before using a magic item? Um, honestly, I don't know. Hmm. Okay, well, I, I, I mean, in, in your guys' experience, can items hold more than one person, or would this item be useless to my uh, person if uh, if your person is still stuck there? We don't know anything. Oh, now you say something, Glitch. Just being helpful. Mm-hmm. Okay. Hmm. And how about this? Who's you talking about? Who are you with that wants magic cards? Uh, well, no, no, she doesn't want magic cards. She just well, that's touchy, but it's touchy. We'll just leave it at touchy. All right, we'll leave at touchy.
Mm -hmm. Sneak back into the cab. Uh, Nico is still looking at you, but is definitely distracted now. I, I wonder if it's gonna feel her gaze just slightly go off a bit. Mm -hmm. <sighs> kind of just relax, just a tad, but still keeping an eye out because this is completely and absolutely new for her. Hmm. Many flirted with you. Come on. Yeah, but that, that's that's a different story. Above table, okay? That's a different story. <laughs> She's not used to a female fleeting with her, okay? Mm. 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 Hey, Frederick, how much farther? Frederick, this whole time, has been sitting in the... I think he said he's... No, he probably is watching her, but there was a post mm. in the rear uh, or <clears throat> John was sitting at one point, look, keeping lookout, but there's like a post in the back of the cart. Mm -hmm. On the main road! Okay. Thanks. You know, usually when you follow, you eventually hit the city you're looking for. Just saying. I don't need more smart assness than I already dealt with, all right? What's the matter? You can't take what you deal? I don't feel smart assness. She just asked me how much further. She just replied. <laughs> just start hearing her mumble in Elvish and angrily. And any anything in particular in Elvish? Cheerspiel. <laughs> Basically. Um, <laughs> quietly, I'll just say in Elvish, you can deal me whatever you'd like. You should see our and his eyes pop out. Go, huh? And I'll, I'll be, I'll be looking for it now, but definitely a smirk. No, you want to be back with me. Uh, 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 oh, oh. oh, then she's gonna start cussing in Druidic. In, in Druidic? Oh, yeah, Druidic. <laughs> Druidic. Yep. <Yeah. laughs> cussing in Druidic because. This is the only thing one she can think of that she remembers that the other two do not speak, at least. Hmm. Talking about John and Glitch here. That's true. So I just start talking back in your own voice. <laughs> <laughs> and just repeating everything. Yeah, I don't know what you're saying. <laughs> no. Um, yeah. I'm listening, but I'm not, I'm not staring at you anymore. <sighs> Nico, where were you coming from? Uh, Gilton, I, I have a, I have a delivery to make. A delivery, really? Yeah, yeah, it's my, my, my batch. Is that supposed to mean something to me? Uh, uh yeah, it's the, uh, you don't, you, 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 you don't know about per perfect postal providers for people's precious per parcels and packages. Nope. P7? I'm I'm a po postal service delivery person. That's a lot of P's. Yep. That's seven of them. See? I, I, I... <laughs> but you can, it's been on my character sheet for like a week now. <laughs> Doesn't mean I don't can't stop laughing every time I see it. <laughs> Actually, to be fair, it was P6. For a while, I added one. Okay. <laughs> you just... Oh. Hmm. No, that, that's uh... the first time I've heard about... Really? Do, do, yeah. you, do, you, do you never send... parcels? Uh, care, for a while. packages? No, mm -hmm. not really. No, not... not to not, be fair, not... I think we use them from time to time. Well, that, okay. Sir Frederick um, gets it. Yes, but for Sir Frederick has been on this. Nope, not going there either. Um, I heard you. 
Yeah, yeah, okay. Still so, you just delivering a package and you save it and just happen to pond us. I mean, th this this is the road to East Haven. You guys just see Aronis glare at you. Smart ass. First off, I've never been here, so be nice. I will be whatever you'd like me to be. I, I don't know how I feel about that one. Okay. Then I'll start with being nice. Okay. Um. Arwen, this is just completely flustered. Completely flustered, not sure what else to do. Um. At some point, you see get to the bridge as you get to the bridge you see uh, Assam standing outside the guard shack give me a perception check okay. 17 17 you see uh Definitely references of you see a little bit of piece of slash of blood or over across his cheek as he wipes it off as you're approaching. Uh Isam, you good? Uh but of course. Uh I took care of the hostels that were here. Who is your new friend? Uh, Nico. Hello. All right. Uh, I'll just... Hop him back. You know what? I'll, I'll take the back crap uh, and uh, watch from behind. Uh, Frederick back there. <laughs> that's fine. I can take a break and I can come up and guide you a little bit more. Uh, please. Right. Pavan, you don't mind me uh, climbing up on the roof, do you? Who is this? Frederick. This is Sir Frederick Strong, the Honorable. Uh, she's not really going to respond, but she won't say no. All right. He looks to you as he climbs to the top, and, and you're watching the back, and he kind of starts moving up towards the front. Uh, as you start going again across the bridge, he says, All right, so once you get behind the bridge, I, I got to mm -hmm. go back. Once you go behind the bridge, there is a tavern called the Bronze Homestead Tavern. And then uh, I recommend us stopping there for tonight, and then we can have a game plan going in. Okay. The way yep. I'll, uh, wait. What? Did y'all happen to get any money? You're the only one who had the money. No, from the tavern. Wait, did uh, I say you had money? I don't know if you had Yeah, money. about 300 platinum. He That's had right. a lot on him. A... That's right. Yeah, he had a lot I'll, on I'll, him. I'll cover everybody's room for tonight, and then uh, we can... Reach. That way, look, this looks like y'all could use a nice uh, bed. And... That is very yep. generous That's... of you, Sir Frederick. Thank you. Not the problem. Yes. Anything for the perfect parse... Perfect postal providers of people's parcels. <laughs> I can't even say that. I can't even say I... that twice if I wanted to. That, 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 okay. That's definitely a alliteration. Any, anything, anything for the seven P's of the land. Awesome. You're you're an honorable person for sure. Definitely earned that title. And as you cross the bridge, the storms and clouds that were the day before the ret, the sun is out bright, blaring down as steam coming off the moisture of the ground. You start arriving through the farmlands. 
the outskirts of East Haven is just farms, wheat, grain. And as you're passing through, it's probably a good spot to take our break. Okay. So guys, sit back, relax. We'll be right back. <clears throat> I can even send back. You Sorry, uh, we had to figure some stuff out real quick before we came back on stream. But yeah, we're back. Hope everybody enjoyed the little break, and uh, we'll pick up there as you just cross the bridge, starting to move through the farmlands of East Haven, or the out on the very, very outskirts of East Haven. You're moving through the farmlands. And the sun is blazing down on you. It's starting to get pretty hot, and the steam coming off the moisture from the rains from the day before. You're starting to see more, uh, more civilization people kind of here and there. The farmers are out in the fields. Starting to see more signs of, like, you know, people, you know. Beautiful day. Yeah. Hmm. Don, you're awfully quiet back there. Everything good? Or did you lose its glitch again? No, I, I need to know. He's cheating. Answer. He has to be cheating. There's no way. He's won it this many times. Uh, yes, sure I would like that? to oh, give a natural over over 20. Again? Please? No. Are you sure? <laughs> Maybe. Maybe. Uh. Nico, you get a natural 20 added to your Thank rewards. You. It's so weird hearing myself say stuff and I'm not talking in my head during the live. <laughs> but... Uh, mm. Thank you, Isolde. Arnis? Yep. What was you saying? Oh, uh... Sorry. Uh, I was just arguing with John again about him making the same mistakes over and over again. Like How do you see them? You're driving. I'm guessing. I'm guessing here. There's like a, a taxi window right here. You you probably would have heard me at some point be angry <laughs> yeah, about yeah, losing to glitch. Yeah. <laughs> it's just like... Yeah. Luck's on my side today. Thank you for not taking that bet. I would have lost two gold. <laughs> Lucky more. me. Or more, because it sounds like it's not the first time he's lost. He only gets as angry if it's the fourth or fifth. Well, then I may have lost more than two gold. Yeah, you're seven times. <laughs> I have been very lucky today. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Stop moving that rook there. Gotta the castle. The Hey. Yeah. <laughs> Keep telling me. Hmm. I don't. Know. I, uh, we'll I don't. Yeah, he'll get there eventually. But I know. I kind of want to put some money now on uh, you know. <laughs> glitch. <laughs> None of you have money, so. No, sadly. How do you not? Yet. Perhaps we oh. should all pick up some. I can. I can give you guys a good reference. Maybe if we travel a bit together, I can get you a good reference. You can get, you can work with, uh, with P7. I appreciate that. We'll, we'll keep that in consideration. Um, we'll talk about that at the tavern. How about that? Mm -hmm. As you grow further, it is getting to late to evening. That's actually... Change the music up so you can listen to the wandering guitar. Actually, I need to add some tavern. Give me a sec. Uh, go ahead and talk amongst yourselves while I set something up real quick. Okay. Um. Are we there yet? No, I don't think. No. If we were there, I would stop. We're not there yet. Jeez. Okay. And plus, for, for 
Frederick would say we were there if we were there. Hmm. I ask it. Are you kicking mm-hmm. his ass again, or are you just 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 moping now? What? Who? John and Chess. Because got quiet all of a sudden. I'm not sure if that's a good thing or a bad thing. John's really focused. <laughs> there, there's no cogs moving in his head, but like he's really focused. He's getting better. <laughs> He's not getting better. He's getting worse. <laughs> you you, sh- you, you sure, Glitch, he's getting better, or are you just being nice? Of course he's getting better. Okay. Until you get okay. better, you keep playing. Uh-huh. And you fail. And you learn. Um, Master Glitch, is he getting better at playing or better at failing? Playing. Okay. Good to know. I move okay. a piece, and it's a it's an illegal move. <laughs> I don't I don't know that though. So like it's just like, it's like oh that moves in an L shape. <laughs> move it back. I move a different piece correctly this time, except it is terrible positioning. <laughs> now we're going through each piece. No, now. <laughs> <laughs> See where it is, and if I move there, it's gonna move this and open Dang. up that. Um, so we put it back to where it was, and we keep going. Jugan, can you turn on your battle cam with the chessboard there, so we can actually? <laughs> <laughs> I was asking to do something higher, or low glitch in Gene. High. What? That is not high. As you're sitting there. Uh, Arnis hits this like pothole in the road, and the the chest set slides off uh, Kalis onto the floor. My bad, pothole. <laughs> um, during, uh, it, w- was that enough to like? Was it quite a jostle? That's enough, yeah. Okay, I'm enough gonna, to I'm- make. Maybe uh, subconsciously for Arnis to look back and make sure the wheel didn't break. Cool. As soon as she does that, I'm scooching a couple inches closer to her. <laughs> Dang it, Arnis, I was winning that one. I wasn't. <laughs> you, you, you weren't? No? Okay. No. Oh, oh above table, I'm not. Uh, <laughs> on table, he thinks he was. <laughs> really, clear. John, you, you were winning. All right. Okay. Eighth time's the charm. That's what uh-huh. they say. Uh huh. I thought it was okay. Providence, you hearing this? John thinks he's winning. Okay. Just gonna. Uh... I'm worried. I'm very worried about her. Oh, this is not good. This is not like her. I'm not used to quiet Providence. You're just gonna hear her mumbling this. Uh... Okay. Sorry. Uh, That's right. Nick- Glitch will now. The chessboard game is gonna take a break and redo his. Uh, what are they called? Just a fire. Just, yeah. Crap, I'm not going to look that up. Find it on the page. Basically, I take the. I gave like Kalis and Arwen this like plus one oh, AC. Yeah. I'm going to change those out and uh, put a returning thing on my dagger. And start throwing it out the window as we move, so the dagger comes flying back to me. Okay. Do you want me to take that off? Uh, yeah, we'll put okay. it back on later. But okay, I'll take it off then. Just for, for flavor, screwing oh, around. Sounds good. Infusions. That's what they are. Uh, 
just up above. Uh, oh, yeah, that's it up there on the right. Up there. Okay, perfect. Awesome. The clay building, uh, a clay building with a slate roof, with a bronze homestead tavern stands four stories tall. The place is usually only frequented a few times a week by customers. Inside this tavern holds many different paintings that sometimes move on their own. As you approach, you notice the tavern is a serene atmosphere. The tavern is filled with amazing aroma uh, coming from incense holders built on the walls. See a couple. Uh, on in uh, while you're inside, there's on stage. There is a fiddler, and um, behind the bar is a human mill. Um, there's a couple of patrons. There, there's a muscular uh, male half elf sitting at the bar, waiting for something to be served to him, and a drunk human man standing near the entrance waiting for something here appears to be um real quick when we get there i'm gonna see where they're all going and then i'm gonna like sprint to the, the post office to finish my delivery and then come back so i'll be probably gone for a few minutes depending on how far that might be but oh you're still in the farmland so the post okay. office is actually in the main city so gotcha gotcha okay cool cool cool, cool. never mind then but hmm? never mind nope. all right i guess let's go in and <sighs> Frederick, do you want to do the talking? <laughs> let's uh, let's get the table over here, and uh, we'll uh, have a chat. Okay. Saunter on in. Yeah. That is not the sound I need. Yep. Arwen is gonna elegantly walk, but with the purpose, straight to the table. Yeah, head over and sit down. Mm -hmm. I'm going to sit next to Providence because I'm worried about her. I mean, if everybody goes in, I don't know. Did she go in? Providence? Yeah? Are you coming in? Hello? Uh, okay. Yeah. Uh, 20 minutes. Come on, let's get some food and we need to talk. Okay? Okay. So, hop off the top of the wagon and just follow along. Okay. I'll, uh, I'll go to the back of the wagon and just turn to the, the guys and be like, so... Do you bring your floating friend table with you, or? I'll actually uh, stay with uh, Assam says. I'll stay with him to make sure he's fine. Just give me an update. Ah, well, that, that, that works conveniently. Yeah. You know, just, just bring some ale back, and that'll be great. Go to? No problem. Do you do you use him as your as your ale table too, or? What's the table? I don't know why they were using him. Hmm. I've never used a person as a table before. What's your chance? Does he remember these things when, he, or does he come out of this even? How long has he been like that? Yeah, this is new. Okay. Well, probably fine. Yeah, you know, weird stuff happens here. 
<laughs> He's fine, probably. Weird stuff. That sounds fascinating. I'd love to hear more of your stories. Oh, well. Oh, do we have, do I have stories, please? Do we... Oh, yeah, the stories. The stories. There's lots of those. I almost want to roll insight just because of how you're saying that. <laughs> We have so many stories. We have stories. We've got stories. So many. So many stories. All of the stories, yes. <laughs> Some of them are true. <laughs> oh. As you went to an... Um... Uh... The male human that was behind the bar walks over to you and uh, hands you, like, some wooden coasters. Says, ah, welcome to my tavern. Uh, how may I help you? My name is uh, Klotov Hightower. Uh, what can I get all y'all? Uh, Sir Arnold was just, yeah, I'll take some, take some L. I wonder whatever these fine gentlemen and ladies want. L! L L Okay. <laughs> L L. What about you looking over at Glitch? Uh L, just bring a couple pictures. Some pictures got you. And ooh, beautiful blonde hair lady. Uh what would you like? I do have some wine in the back. Read the room. Huh? Sorry, what? What would oh. you like to drink, my lady? Oh, um, whatever they're having. L, got it. And all in this, oh, I'm sorry, didn't know your name. Uh, L, so we don't get much L's these, around these pots. Uh, what would you like? Would you, customary wine? That would be great, yes. Okay, and, uh, I've seen you around here in a while, Nico. How's it going? Could I try some of that customary wine too, please? But of course, but of course. Maybe, maybe could you just bring me the bottle? I'll pour for the two of us. But of course. And, uh, and you, sir, you said you're paying. Yes, I'll pay. I just put everything all in one time. Got you. We'll be right back. And he scurries off. I guess we'll get food later. What's his name? Uh, his name is Caliph. Hoff Hightower. So C O L I F F Hightower. Okay. I'm just going to call him Hightower. All right. Let's head to the table, I guess. I mean, you're already at the table. Oh, okay. Um, right. Eventually, he comes back and gives you all and uh, says, What we have this evening is skewered snake and pecans with sunflower seeds on the side. Okay. Uh, we'll go are, with that. Are the, are the seeds roasted or raw? I mean, I, we can roast them real quick for you. No, no. Raw, raw is my preference. Okay. Uh, but if that doesn't finish, I'm sure we still have some leftover stuff from lunch, which is battered fried pawns and mm. prawns and mitts berries with dry flatbread on the side. So we still have a few, some of that stuff left. I was going to oh, say, prawns, prawns is, is part of your brain. Uh, pra prawns makes more sense. Yeah, that's what I said. Yeah, uh, ours is gonna be prawns. Like, <laughs> snake does not sound appetizing to her at all. Could could I get prawns with sunflowers, please? But of course, but of course. Anybody else? I'll try the snake. Got it. Never had snake uh, before. Uh, it looks over, John. Oddly enough, I got a feeling that you might like some snake. 
John. Hmm? He looks over at the bird and says, oddly enough, I feel like you might like some snake. I've never had it before. I'll give it a shot. <laughs> okay. And, uh, Petty Lady, what would you like? She's kind of just staring forward. She's not paying attention. She'll have the snake. Maybe one of each. All right. But very much, very much. I'll, I'll bring it over. Thank and you. I'll, and, uh, the, um, uh, Sir Ar uh, Frederick, he's like, I'll take the snake and, uh, do you think you want to get your friends back in the cut something too? Yeah, get them the snake too, since there's not a lot of problems left, I guess. It'll be easier to fake callus that way. <laughs> I mean, there are, they're just not fresh, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Freshly made. It's just kind of like That's leftovers. Fine. I'm fine with it. Right. I mean, that's what I'm saying. Do you want to get him uh, them that instead? Sure. Let's do that. Let's give him the prom. They're never going to know the difference if they're hanging out in the cot. True. True. All right. Uh, all right. Cool. Uh, I'll head back and get that stuff ready and uh, be back. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Uh, eventually the, the drunk human that's kind of yeah. standing near the entrance, um, he gets handed, uh, like some sort of package or something and he stumbles out the front door and walks out. Um, mm. uh, eventually, uh, he serves the half elf at the bar. Um, that's kind of built like a Brit shit house. Uh, a big fashion of ale, and he's just sitting there serping. Um, so, so my order. He looks around, see if anybody's easing in. But since it's very light right now within the tavern, because it is on the outskirts, uh, there is somebody on the, like I said, somebody playing the fiddle. Mm -hmm. Um, on the bar. Oh, my fancy little dice here. Oddly enough, it is a. No, I don't like that race. Let me reroll that. <laughs> All right, it must be Destin's scenario. Okay. That works. A little halfling on the bar with a little fiddle and just fiddling away. I'll, I'll throw a couple copper. There is like a little bowl there if you wanted to donate some to it. Yeah, I'll just throw it down the stage. And then he starts really looking at you doing that. <laughs> uh, the little half one has a little shorter, shorter, little shorter haircut. Um, uh, like a little vest over like a, uh, like one of those um, wool, wool shirts. Just sitting there just going. Like he's just, he's normally here to pay for it and do it. And, and um, so, so after he looks around, he's like, so the order of the goblet, we, uh, in each location and like in each city, there is a, um, of course you had to write that. That was not what I was going for, but, uh, <laughs> um, lost my train of thought now. Shit. My bad. Oh, in each location, in each uh, major city in Lustra, and, uh, there we have a place called the Majestic. Um, so what we're about to go to is um, the Majestic of East Haven. And then in every other city that has the same thing. He pulls out this gold medallion. On one side is a, a solid gold engraved uh, um, goblet. Goblet. And the other side is like a skyline. If anybody can roll me a history check. Okay. Let's roll history for something. Well, I guess. Nope. Anybody's been mostly on this side, which part Nico, you could too. History? Mm hmm. Mm. 
Oh, definitely not. That's too... No. Guys, I don't have a negative in history anymore. <gasps> what? <laughs> what? Yeah, I mean, rolling a five isn't going to help much. That's a total of ten. Glitch, what'd you get? I don't, I don't know if Providence is paying attention, but you got a 19. Okay. Uh, Glitch, what you got? Ten. Ten. Uh, you guys, not so much. It kind of just looks like a skyline. Uh, Providence, as you're just kind of looking, uh, you immediately notice it as... Um, Oh my god, my mind is completely blinking tonight. Sorry, guys. Makes sense. Providence Hi. did a lot of traveling in the last like six or eight mm -hmm. years. So mm -hmm. that doesn't make um, sense. Uh, where is my stuff? I really got to organize at some point. Uh, Does it look like Aventus? No, not Aventus. Okay. Because, well, I don't want to change my. Son of a... <laughs> Open it up and then it changed. Oh, I turned the wrong one. There we go. Uh, I clicked the wrong because I had two photos open. Uh, where is it at? Oh, yeah, there it is. Sheesh. Uh, uh, Providence, you immediately notice uh, this uh, skyline is... Uh, not quite like a city, more of a town skyline of Yeldravia. Oh, yeah, I think I know that. Oh, really? Yeah, it's Yeldravia. Bane and I passed it by. Uh, yes, this is the location the Order was founded at, so it's kind of a place in the back. But this is our currency. As far as like buying stuff within the order. Okay. So, uh, at each location uh, is a um, like the front of the majestic is looks like a normal tavern or uh, inn to the outside people, but if you are part of the order, you know to go in and talk to management and you get directed towards the the back how you say back room or back location where only you know but do you take the back door often not the back door they just take it to the back part of the tavern mm. okay or in it's really more of an end, so. Um, Understood. So anybody that's up part of the order just goes in, and, and it looks like a normal tavern for them. But if you, I've, I've been to one. It yeah, it does look like a tavern. Oh, really? Which one? I can't remember. I actually sent you a DM about a chicken. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> It was, in during one of our, it was during the dark session. I just couldn't remember which town you were in. Oh, <laughs> I think we were yeah. in Gilton. Or yeah. Lutton. We were in Lutton. Lutton. Then, yeah, we went to the one in Lutton. Okay. Uh, yes. We'll say it is. But it looked like it just a normal tavern for you. You didn't know <laughs> what it was actually was. But I I've seen I've seen these places all around. It's, I th just thought it was a chain. Hey, it's, so to speak, but we keep it like that so the members of the order know where to go and make it easy. So me, yeah. Yeah. So, um, if you walk up to who runs the place behind the bar, or the not the service bar, but like the host bar reception desk. Okay. Yeah, reception oh. desk. Uh, Either way, there is a welcome desk, and if you present one of these medallions and say you sw wish to speak to the management or owner, uh, they'll take it off and then take you to the back and introduce you to 
Not necessarily, depending on what you ask for, but they'll take you back to the, our part of the tavern, or I keep saying tavern, inn. Okay. And you have safe haven coverage. Mm-hmm. There would be people to buy stuff from, usually magical items and stuff. We call them the Mayor of Inchi. Each location has one. Okay. Um, what kind of magic items? Depends on what you're looking for. They have different, all different types. Weapons, hmm. armor, shields, artifacts, different types. Hmm. Interesting. Uh, yes, oddly enough, Dragon of Death, this is... <laughs> I, I was basing this off of it. But it's, it's pretty much like... Um, Oh, I forgot what they were called, but the underground mm-hmm. hitman type deal. But it's it's not about all about hits and shit. It's just a secret order. But that's where I based it off of. It's kind of fun. Uh so yeah. Uh, but the mayor of Vinci, um, uh, he deals in each. Yeah, the, yeah, it's called Continental, but in this world, it's called the Majestic. The Continental. <laughs> It was part of the organization that John Witt worked for. Mm-hmm. But let's pull it back in. Um, so there are six elders. Are um, they Are they actually, like, do you only have six people above a certain age? Or are they, like, organizational? No, it's, 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 they're not referred to as that. They're just uh, founding members. Okay. But we call them elders. How 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 old is your organization? Five hundred years. Whoa, 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 whoa. Must all be elves then. <laughs> the what? Said so they must He's... all be elves if if they're still around. No, nobody ever sees them. Nobody's meet them. That's so strange. Mm. I'm gonna lean over to Arwen and be like. Tugold says that no one sees them because they're exceptionally ugly. She's gonna look at you like, huh? I, I don't. You're not. You know what? Fine. No. Um. Okay, that's interesting. So the I founders... do work direct. I do work directly for one. I call him Mister Trinity. I just never met him. Honestly, you're probably doing it the smart way. Sometimes it really bites when you work direct, when you actually like meet the person you work for. This is true. This is true. But this is why I think the agents of the Black Order was trying to make Ah, uh, got your food right here. Here you go. Start stitching them out. Uh, that'll be uh, 10 silver. So speak. There you go. Thank you. Well okay. worth the price. Just saying, this food is great. Yeah. yeah I mean, you're. Again. It's like a farm tavern, so it's on the cheaper side. So. It's so good. Guys, just breathe it in for a moment. Oh, that's so good. It's like home, but better. I take a bite of it. Um, how comparable is it to um, stolen rich people food? <laughs> stolen rich people food? St- stuff I stuff I potentially may or may not have stolen from people uh, while they were eating. Um, I don't know. <laughs> You've been in a cage for two years. How would you know that? You do- yeah, you don't know I, that. No, that know was that. above the table. <laughs> 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 uh, prior, prior to cages. Uh, yeah. Let's roll, see how good it tastes. Actually, a natural yeah. 19, it tastes really good. I, I know this. But uh, uh, and it thinks, uh, another round? Yeah, sure, another round. And uh, I'm, I'm just pouring... Uh, wine for the two of us yeah she's gonna take it slow 
That's fine. I'll make sure you're you're never empty. Wow. Well, it's... I'm embarrassed. So that's that. That was that was great. Safoon uh, says something pretty uh, accurate in chat. <laughs> uh, so I I think that's why. Actually, I'm not quite sure. They were kidnapping me, I guess, to find out more information for the order. Um, but thank you again for saving my life. So. Yeah, no problem. You guys are heroes too. Like, lead with that. Uh. Uh. uh hmm. It's one of it's one of many titles. I suppose. Well, for you. Well, it's the one you should lead with. You know what? Sure. Why not? Why not? Yeah. Okay, so... You guys are so cool. I don't know. Some you? of us... 19. How are you? Uh, 68. Cool. So, um... Some of... I know some of our group isn't keen on joining the order right now but <sighs> do you think they will still help us free Craven help find Fane find Manny I very much would like to save Craven but you know as you Who's... do mm -hmm. she noted that going back to uh, right now, you know, it's not possible. Not until we're stronger and we have more help. And they help me find Fane. So we can manage that? Right away. First thing. That's, we, we do have mages that could probably assist on maybe with that type of stuff. Robin, do you remember what she said? I don't care. I know. I'm finding her. We will find her. But she said to take care of us first. You're fine. You're all strong. I'm fine. Yeah. But um, don't look to John. Remember, he got sick. Are you remember sick? The bird flu. No, no, don't worry, I can't die. <laughs> really? How does that work? It it's complicated. Some so you, you gotta go through some stuff in order to not be able to die. I like dying so. and then not dying. Dying and then not Could you elaborate just No, like, no, I cannot. It's complicated. You got killed by a dragon. We'll get to it later. Dead. You got killed by a dragon and now you can't die. That's all there's. I don't think that's all there's to it. If there's there's more to it. We'll get to that in a minute. Okay, cool. In due time. Mm -hmm. But uh, I think I, I'm going to go pay for our rooms uh okay. they do have two uh the rooms have two beds in them so do you want to double up or each have your own separate room let's do it the cheaper way and double up okay uh who wants to uh, be in the rooms uh, i i don't know do you do you want to partner up i was gonna go with providence because i'm worried about her mm. i'm gonna stay with fane Covenants. Sorry. You, you know okay. what? You do that. That's fair. Uh, and I'm I'm pointing to Arwenus when I say that. Yeah. I'll get y'all yeah, for a room and then y'all can split it up as even as you like, and then we can leave first thing in the morning. How about that? Sounds great. But it'll go all um 
John, I sent you a message, by the way. In Zoom. I'm, I saw. I responded. Okay, just, you did? Yep. I didn't get a response. Weird. Anyway. Oh, okay. oh, that was the Islam's placeholder. That's the wrong one. <laughs> uh, no. uh, he goes up and gets four rooms. Uh, um, they're there all, oddly enough, on the third floor. So there's three Alpha, three Bravo, three Charlie, three Delta. And they're all, you you guys can just do enough. So, And, that, and I'll leave you all to party or... Come here, sir. Do whatever you want, don't you? Thanks, Frederick. I'll Get actually take one of the rooms out to Saw and uh, Kalis. I don't know if Kalis is still trancing or not, but uh, I'll get them one of the rooms. Probably. So he does that and leaves three rooms for you guys. All right. Thank you. Um, and he goes on and says, uh, I've instructed him to have her how much you want to drink be on my tap. I'm mad. Oh, thank you. It's the least I could do. You saved my life. You bet. I like this. Ever. And on purpose. <laughs> So yeah, uh, you're left to your own devices. You can sit there and have a chat over what he discussed or what have you. John's just gonna continuously be ordering and drinking drinks uh, as throughout oh. the com oh, any conversation. Get drunk. Keep getting drunk. I'll be I'll be <laughs> sipping on my wine, and anytime the bottle gets low, I'll I'll let the I'll let um. What's his face <clears> so now? for every hour, I'm gonna have y'all roll a con check. Yep, sounds about right. So let's go ahead yeah. and roll a con check now for the first hour. Twenty. Providence hasn't eaten or drank anything yet. Oh. Nine. Oh, that's that is. Oh, Twenty okay. unnatural. Uh, eighteen. Fifteen. Uh, glitch. You're starting to feel a little bit. You're already getting a little tipsy. It's been a you're not years. drunk yet. No. Uh, is some, uh, mm -hmm. uh, it comes in carrying Kalis, and this one's, this one's had a little too much to drink of it. We're just gonna go ahead and go upstairs, and then they go upstairs. He says that, like, to the barkeep, or whatever, so no way gives any kind of notice. Aye. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, does he at least drape like a big cloth around so it looks like he's walking <laughs> like weekend at Kalis's? <laughs> anyway, but, so. uh, I should continue. <laughs> but you uh, leave it to you guys to take charge of it. Providence, you haven't eaten or touched your drink at all. That's not like you. You need to eat and stay strong. He like, picks up a sunflower seed. Come on, more than that. You gotta be second sunflower seed. Yeah, <laughs> you gotta eat more than the sunflower seeds. So she like steak. very, very petulantly like picks up a chunk of snake and like just right. sticks it in her mouth and glares at you at the same time. Come on, muscles. Oh, yeah. Come on, don't be mad at me. I'm trying to help. Hey. And she'll just I'm actually start yeah. eating. Thank you. Okay, thank you. I know this is hard, okay? Not what any of us wanted. Okay, a little, little pun here. These are the cards that we were dealt with. There's not much we can do right now. Until we can get a better hand. Or handle on this. Oh, the puns. I wish I could enjoy this right now. Shut up, you two. My card puns, yeah. <laughs> I already know they're snickering. I could hear them. Just, you you hear to do your something. Your chuckle in, in the back of your head. <laughs> mm -hmm. I, just, I just want to do something. I know. 
Remember, if you need to talk to Fane, all you have to do is grab my hand and you can talk to her. But let's not overdo it, so I have my own personal space still. You know how I am with the touchy touchy. But, I know it's not the same, but you know she's alive. She's safe. I'd rather she be dead, because then, then she could, like... Providence. She wouldn't want to be, like, in limbo. So far, she's enjoying it. She's a warrior. I know she's a warrior. She's supposed to die in battle. She will. You know Fane can't die. That's not possible. Did she also get killed by the dragon and then other that was, stuff yes, that you haven't but... told me? Interesting. Was there she... some, like, magical item that was used to make you unkillable now? Or or I, you didn't even say unkillable. You just said can't die. That's That's even more than unkillable. Hmm. I'm unsure on the specifics. Uh, in general, I guess I should tell you now. What, what? Do we... you keep aging forever, or did you stop aging as well? It's it. It hasn't been long enough to discern if we can age yet okay. or not. But yeah, so that might be a dead. Okay. Yeah. So we died due to the dragon, mm -hmm. and then we came back. Um, I don't know how we came back. But we came back and hmm. haven't died yet. So very can't. subtly, behind like the mug of ale, Providence is like, I didn't die. <laughs> she didn't die. She's killable. Uh, so we think. I am not killable. I didn't try to attack. I didn't die to attack. Are you are you the magic source that made the rest of them un undiable? No, that's ridiculous. Okay. No. That was some other rich people that we're technically indebted to, but we don't like to pay debts back, so we aren't doing that. Um, be careful about that one. That can be a fine line to walk. Oh, don't worry. It's fine. <clears throat> Too late. That was your sips. <laughs> you guys uh, are. You guys try your luck more than I do. That's amazing. I like this group. I have a good feeling. This is a good omen, guys. This is a good omen. I mean, maybe not that your I am I am sorry that your friend seems to be somewhere. Um, I don't really understand, but uh the rest of this. Good omens, guys. Good omens all day. This is a sign from the gods. Yep. Okay. Good luck is in our future. That's, yeah. that's I like. It. <laughs> uh, it's okay. You bet. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Let's get another round of concies for the next hour. Yep. Okay. Uh, Glacier, do a disadvantage. <laughs> okay. I got a thirteen. 13. Arnis, you're starting Sorry. to feel it. Yeah, I think I'm done. Ugh. Six. Eleven. Uh, Nico, Seven. you're feeling it. Okay. Glitcher fucking drunk. Yeah. <laughs> uh, John, you're really feeling it. You you kind of skipped uh, starting to feel it, but now you're definitely in in between of tipsy and flat out drunk. You're in that like, uh, hybrid stage. Awesome. Uh, Providence, you drinking still? No. She hasn't touched it at all. Which is oh, very she's had like a sip. A sip. A sip. I've had like a, a sip. A sip. A sip over two hours is nothing. Basically, it was really good, Providence. <laughs> yeah, I think I'm done with my wine. Oh, come on. Let's no. Stop. Okay. I don't get drunk. Okay? This is the most I'll feel. That's fair. Unlike these two hooligans. Oh, Guts gets up and starts hanging out with the fiddle player. Yeah. Oh, bro. On stage. <laughs> this is some good music. I'm gonna... Do I know this song? Yeah. 
You're, You're muted. muted. History check. History check. Advantage. Sure. All right. <laughs> Nineteen. All right, I'll take it. You definitely know it's one of the um, halfling uh, folk tales of old. Um, cool. Awesome. That's made the riffs good. of wine flow deep. This is the title of it. Awesome. Very cool. Uh, in that case, I will stand up and uh, saunter on over to join in uh, bringing my mug with me. Okay. Yep. Start playing my uh, what's this called again? The Bandor. Mm. Like the like the the weird the weird weird looking loot. Actually, nope. That's too many strings. That's a different instrument. Yeah, no. <laughs> All right. As you um, as you play in, give me a performance check, and then you're gonna describe describe to me how you're gonna just go right into it. Nice. Performance. It's a 19. Awesome. All right. So basically, I walk up to the stage. Uh, instrument in one hand. Uh, mug. Uh, I'll, I'll set the mug down on a, a nearby table. Um, I'll drop a silver piece into the hat. Or the bowl. Sorry. Uh, and then... Uh, and then I'll play along uh, with him in the song or this tale. Uh, he switches as you come in, and as you come in, he switches in, does a little bit more faster as you're coming in tune. Mm -hmm. Gotcha. Everybody, you see that John dropped some money into the thing. Uh, he has money. Oh, he's in deep trouble. <laughs> oh, he's in deep trouble. John's enjoying oh, the music and the time. Oh, he doesn't he's, know. He's, yeah, he he's good at what he's doing. He's very catchy tune. <laughs> good with it. I'm impressed. Still gonna have a talk with him later about that. Keeping things from his friends. Mm hmm. <sighs> Okay. Providence. Do you want to talk to Fane again? You're muted. No, it's okay. Okay. All right. Just let me know if you want to. Okay. Yeah. We'll find her. Also, if we find the book and get all the stuff for the spell and the ritual, we can get her out. Okay? As long as we start looking right away. We will do our best, okay? So tomorrow. That's, okay. that's all I can promise you is we'll do our best. Because I don't know what tomorrow's going to bring us. Okay, I'm just going to... Maybe I should just go to bed. All right, I'll join you in a sec. I gotta keep an eye on these two hooligans. Make sure they don't start something. Yeah, if if Blue's bothering you, just let me know. Well, it's never. We'll do. <laughs> You'll see your small smile for the first time on our one is towards you. Like, okay. So she's gonna grab her sword, which was sitting by the table. It's gonna start to light up. <laughs> it always does, and then she'll just walk upstairs. Um, I'm gonna get up and just start dancing to the music, um, and hopefully not get any splinters in my feet. You need really? shoes, don't you? I lost them in a bed. 
Why did you? Okay. Well, it was no. It wasn't just the shoes. It was, it was poker, and you know, you, I had an extra set of clothes. The shoes were the last thing I lost that night. It was a fun night. It was a good night. Uh, how drunk are you? Me. No, how drunk are you? I'm. I'm just. I got a buzz. A buzz. Yeah. Looks more than a buzz. Nah. I get a buzz. I'm just happy. Uh -huh. Eventually, we're gonna have to drag those two upstairs. I have a funny feeling if we keep letting them drink, they're gonna be trouble to bring up the stairs. And Frederick said the third flight, didn't he? Uh, if you dance with me for a song, I'll help you bring them upstairs. We're gonna eye you quickly, like, hmm. When she looks at the other two, like, I don't want to bring them up by myself. Uh... One. My lucky day. What did I tell you? We don't need to roleplay the dance. <laughs> <laughs> Give me a Give performance me check first. <laughs> okay. Both of us are... Can I give her? <laughs> I did no, you roll for six. each. Other. You roll a six. Are you rolling? I roll a six. I, yeah, I, I gotta figure. Out, I gotta figure out who's keeping one afloat. <laughs> you know, who yep. does better? Uh, who, who's leading, so to speak? Ooh, uh, I rolled a sixteen for a total of fourteen. Arnis, as you stand up, you realize you had a lot more than you thought from usual. As you come in for the dance, she mm -hmm. catches you as you kind of stumble forward. And she just starts leading you around, and you're just kind of like, <laughs> the room is starting to spin a little bit. To be clear, hands are staying in respectful places. It's first night. That'll right. leave space. Yeah. For whatever god you are. <laughs> uh, I had too much to drink. Uh, this is spinning too much. This is just for Sylvia. My shirt's off. <laughs> oh, no. We need to stop. Oh, nope, nope. We're done. We're done. We're done. Glitch, come oh. on. Let's go upstairs. Okay. All right. Um, I will drop. I'll drop a gold in the hat and give a look to the halfling and be like, I'm going to take him away now before his clothes come off, too. Um, you grab the bird. I got the elf. Half elf. Come and, here, and JP's already gone upstairs, so this works out beautifully. Come on, Glitch. Yeah, he just he just, just falls around. Music. Okay. Not that hard to get him to go. Okay. Uh, what? Which one we're we gonna put room? We're we gonna put them in. I don't know which one room. Power is. Oh. Uh, let's put them in the first empty room that we have. Okay. Because then we don't have to move them as far. True. True. Oh, gosh. You're on mute, chicken. Damn it. Providence took uh, room 3B. 3B? Okay. We, so Alpha's still available? Alpha's still available, yes. Okay, we'll alpha just is. toss him in Alpha. I'm gonna... Toss him <laughs> in Alpha. So we'll, we'll get them in. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna just encourage some gentle spooning and then leave. Who? Depending on how drunk they are. Oh. Are you talking about uh John and Glitch? Yep. No. Who is Big Spoon? Not enough. <laughs> uh I'll, John would be Big Spoon because he's the one that I was helping into the room. It's a dark room. Well, yeah, I would just fall down wherever you put me. Yeah, I'm gonna put him on one bed. Just here. Just go to the same bed and just kind of and then leave. Depending on how drunk they are, they might wake up like that. They give might me, not. Get, John, give me let me get a constitution save with her from John and Glitch. All right. And Nico and Arnus for that matter. Arnus, you have disadvantage. Glitch and John, you have disadvantage. Actually everybody has disadvantage because you I, think, have I was gonna say I think I do too. Yeah. How okay. not bad? Uh, it's a 14. 15. Oh, that's, uh, um, that's a 2. I'm going to use my my DM's inspiration to make it an even roll. Okay. Hmm. 
15. I got 15. I had an 18 and uh, 13, so 15. Well, it's a two or 12. Uh, John, as soon as you get through, you get you in the room, you completely pass the fuck out. Mm -hmm. Uh, you barely, I don't know, does birds throw up? That's a very good country. <laughs> birds often throw up into their baby's mouths. That's true. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, so you just dropped off uh, John, who is passed out, and he kind of barfs a little bit on the floor. Glitch, you're like, you're kind of come to, and you're wondering why you're kind of got a little. Actually, did you actually make them cuddle? That's what she was doing. I put Glitch down yeah. first, so. Yeah, wherever Glitch went down, Jean went down next, and just has like one arm wrapped around. So even like the the mostly face down. So we have a a, ha a half orc and a kinku cuddling in bed. No half uh, elf. Half elf. That's what I said. You said elf. Or orc. Or orc. Or, I'm sorry. A half yeah. elf and a kinku cuddling in bed. So, glitch, you kind of wake up with a little bit of like steamy stuff in the back of your neck of uh, John <laughs> puking oh, up no. a little bit. Uh, God. Uh, depends on how drunk I am. I'd get up or not. You're talking <laughs> too much of an effort, then. Yeah. <laughs> You're drunk you enough that 15? you were starting to disrobe. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I just go back down again. Like, eh. <laughs> All right, so we're leaving John and Glitch cuddling for tonight. Got it? Yeah. <laughs> um, I will walk Arwenus to the next room and then just keep going to the following one. So the next room would be Providence where she's at. I don't know. Did you lock the door, Providence? No. Yeah. You're going to see Arwenus stumble in like, oh, she drank too much. And I'll just kind of look and be like, good night to both of you. Uh-huh. And keep walking. To the Thanks last. Thanks for the dance. Uh-huh. I'll, I'll go in and... Uh, how long were they... Um, how, long, how much longer were they, were they up? Uh, two hours, I think. About two or three hours. Okay. Give or take an hour. Uh, yeah. Providence is probably sitting on the bed trying to pray again. I'm going to sit on the opposite bed and just kind of look at you with her ha head in her hands like, ugh. Are you okay? I drank too much. I normally don't drink this much. Ugh. Oh. Okay, um... Glitch took off his shirt, which was very interesting to see. I'm sure you've seen that before. No. I mean, you lived together for like two years. Yeah. Yeah, but he didn't take his clothes off that often. Oh. You. Well. <laughs> yeah, I'm. I guess I'm sure you had to see that. Uh, and okay. she walks over to you, and she actually just kind of puts her hand awkwardly on your shoulder, and um. I I don't know if this is gonna work. Um, I, I did try to be a paladin. Um, and she's going to, she's going to cast what she thinks is, um, uh, lay on hands to try and remove disease, to try and cure some of your, your headachey type stuff, but it's not, she does heal you if it matters. Does it? Give me a higher or low Providence. Always high. Does it remove poison? Yeah. It's healing off. hands. It's not lay on hands. Oh. It's it's from a racial trait, not from a class trait. It doesn't remove, uh, Arnis, it does not remove, like, you being drunk. Mm -hmm. But the warmth of her hands touching you feels soothing. Well, that kind of help. I'm still drunk, but... Sorry, I wasn't a it's, good... It's a little warm, don't you think? It's fine. It's fine. Oh, okay. You try, that's all that matters. Mm. What? what? You're what okay? I... Yeah, I'm okay. Just drunk. Don't like being drunk. 
Okay, well, you should go to bed. Mm -hmm. um, and she kind of like very, very effortlessly just like lifts you and puts you in the bed and covers you up. She's too tired and too drunk to fight. Like, okay, sure, uh huh. One time, only time. Not again. Okay. I didn't, I didn't do anything. No, just I meant the pickup. Oh, I'm sorry. No, it's okay. It's okay. But I needed help anyways, because the room is spinning way too much for my taste. Night. Night. And she'll crawl on the other bed and go to sleep. What do you say, baby? About halfway through the night, uh, Glitch and John, you are staying in the same bed the whole night, or...? I think they just pushed us on the. I thought they just pushed us on the under the floor. Uh, not <laughs> to into a bed. It depends on where Arwen is put. Glitch. Glitch put or she put Glitch in bed. I just oh. kind of tossed him in bed. In bed, okay. Yeah, so yeah. you're you're in the same yeah. bed. Yeah. Okay, I suppose so then. Yeah, I'm out. So. <laughs> I might have rolled onto the floor at some point. Uh, Nico, you you have your own room. Anything special you want to do? Um, how wide are the beds? They're single. They're single. I'm going to push them together, and just starfish, face up, <laughs> and just take in how great this is. Like I got such a big bed. All right. Um, and then I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna flip a coin, see if I can call it, if, and then go to sleep. Okay. Yeah. Call it. You, you got a, you got a coin? Tails. Well, uh, I'm doing like one to ten is heads. Okay. Ten to twenty is tails. tails. So you call tails? Yep. You got tails. Hey, it is my lucky day. And that's the last thing I'm going to say to myself tonight before I close my eyes and go to sleep. All right. Somewhere halfway to the night, Arnis and Providence, you hear. Somebody banging on your door repeatedly, repeatedly. Huh? What? What was that? Uh, Wake up! What? Huh? Arbanus, there's somebody at the door, and okay. Prue is already up out of the out of the bed, and she's right by the door. Alright, I, she gets her crossbow ready, like, not sure if the the hangover still or not, just kind of ready, like. Just stand back, get ready to shoot mm -hmm. if you need to. Mm -hmm. She w she fills up with the door, and she just takes a step back, but prepares to grab her sword. Within the darkness. You see a familiar red flamed eyes, green skin, dark haired Fane holding a ta tablet in their hands and says, Thank God I've been, I've been looking for you. And that's where we're going to end tonight's episode. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, still on that for like four yeah. months. God. Oh, that's oh, evil. Oh, that is wow. freaking evil. And we thought, and we thought, it would have been fine to to do another session. And be like, oh, no, it's no, it's not. It makes everything worse. Uh, Maybe we didn't get Kalis really drunk. Maybe he could have taken his shirt off with glitch. God. <laughs> so, oh goodness. Plus, I don't want to get too much further too because they're not here to yeah, help true. process too. But I definitely wanted to end on that. So. Yep. Yeah, you basically see Fane come in asking with the tome. Been Ooh. basically saying, been looking for mm -hmm. you guys. Dang. It doesn't sound like Fane. Wow. Though. I that was means... the one role playing it. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> um, but that being said, thank you guys for watching tonight. I know it's a little bit shorter one because uh, 
schedules and emergencies and stuff and a couple people out and then i woke up at like 7 20 and not planning on sleeping that late um but yeah thank you fame er, uh, not fame uh shooting for the raid uh thank you everybody for hanging out tonight this is wonderful uh we'll turn it over to our ugly lovely streamer in chat which is silver wolf uh what's next time you live well i start looking for somebody to uh, i am live friday about 5 30 mountain time i'll be probably playing warzone again and hopefully getting some dubs we'll see but besides that we might be on um jr stream this saturday but i'm not sure on that one for uh hollow chorus all right well um next time we're live will be friday well let's D, D would be live will be friday night uh for uh dragon lance so if y'all want to see some D, D that came over in actual some actual combat we're going into combat on friday night for dragon lance so uh it's gonna be some really cool stuff happening there um Make sure you tune in for that for the next D and D stream. I'll probably be live some point during the week for like some kind of painting or whatever. Uh, I got three D print some stuff. I got actually three D print Nico too. I have not three D printed her new miniature yet, so got that stuff to do, and I got some other prep to do. Um, with that being said, uh, this is the last time we'll see this wonderful cast until June ish point, either June, July time frame. I don't know. My schedule's kind of a little crazy right at the moment, but uh. Uh, any guys, any, anything y'all want to say before we close it out? And we'll probably raid into Dork Tales. That's the only ones I really see that's streaming any kind of D&D. &D. Dang. I can't believe it's going to be like a month before we d before come back to whatever that was. Like A month. It's March and we're back in June. <laughs> oh, God, that's worse. That's uh, worse, yeah. <laughs> Three of Dang. those. <laughs> Oh, it's, oh, like you're gonna have to like, yeah. it's like you're gonna have to like follow and turn on notifications for the channel or something. Dang, oh, that sucks. <laughs> Maybe join the Discord. <laughs> God. Yeah, that's much more Discord. Join the Discord, you know. <laughs> um, oh. Yeah, uh, you know, I mean, we would have played next Monday, but you know, yeah, people are out. Two people out again. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, I think it's the same too, ain't it? Yep, the same too. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. we can't do two weeks without them. No, we can't. Yeah, not at this point. No. no. Uh, but yeah. Uh, so John, anything else you want to add? Nope. I'm not. I, I might. Well, I might stream. Who knows? Uh, it depends on my schedule. Uh, I nice. don't plan. Don't plan on it though. Sorry. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Garner. Yo. <laughs> anything you want to add before we go on our break? No, Larry's said it they were others already said it yeah it's quite the break uh, oh was it well, merch we did we miss merch oh do yeah, you guys we to merch well. if you like yeah. some merch oh. <laughs> that. <laughs> there we go <laughs> uh is oldie uh sorry to all the viewers for my sad sack of a character today um she's sad sad sack sad um other than that i'm gonna miss everyone you're my friends Mm -hmm. Well, I'll still pester you all. But, of I mean, course, yes. Of course. We'll any other way. Weasel? Um, I, yeah, I, I don't stream, so. Well, it's more like giving your final, like, you oh, know, um, send off. Thank you for letting for me bring in my new character. Uh, sorry that Arwen has to put up with Bane in her head now. Um, sorry that our winners have to put up with Prue in person now. Yep. <laughs> um, oh, good. Uh, I was I was actually kind of curious because I rewatched most of last session and mm -hmm. I I messaged someone midweek and I was like, our whole group is completely unhinged. Like you guys keep saying Fane is the chaos bomb, but it's everyone. Um, mm -hmm. and I was wondering if Fane was kind of the the initiator of that, but no, no, it's you guys. It's great. So. <laughs> I'm, it's good to know that you're all still unhinged. It's about to go off the rails, so. Yeah, for yeah. sure. <laughs> what rails? Yeah, I haven't seen right. those in days. You're right. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so. Silver, any uh, final comments so far? Uh, I've been enjoying this campaign so far. 
it's been a lot of fun and I've I'm sad that we have to stop for about three months because I've been enjoying how our characters and us as players are getting along and our dynamics that we're having in character development. So I'm going to miss it and I cannot wait for us to start again, even though it's right. a long way. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, there's something special about how easily this, this group just are pieced puts. together. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, that being said, uh, so this uh, lovely campaign, we're going to go ahead and raid over to Dork Tales. are playing uh, uh, Fen Delver below um, the wonderful Ooh. stream. I've been using their uh, Dragonlance kind of a, like ideas and blueprints going forward for that campaign. So it's a wonderful watch. So make sure you go say hi if you're a subscriber to the channel. These are the emotes you can use for the raid. And if you're just a follower, those are our center emotes. So make sure you show them um, some love. So, and uh, McLover, thank you. We'll see you also. All, if you be here Friday, you can tune in for the Dragonlance. So thank you guys. Show some love and have a wonderful night. I feel